What's up, everybody? B-Boy Spaz here again, and we're about to do Ask B-Boy Spaz episode four. Um, thanks for sending me all the questions, guys. Um, just keep them coming. If you're not subscribed, hit that up and send me a question. If not, just send me a question anyway. Just remember, anything you want to know about, um, mainly Ableton, I'll do some reason stuff if you want to. Um, I do a lot of recording, and once I finally get a working version of Pro Tools, I'm not going to do tutorials on Pro Tools per se, because that program's just, it's too deep, I don't feel like doing all that, but I'll do tutorials on like, recording techniques, you know, like, the best way to get the best sounding vocals, you know, doubling up your, your tracks and everything for home recording and whatnot, so, just send me that, but let's go ahead and get to our question. All right. Lovely YouTube again. And let's see. What question we have up in here. Let's check out this one by Theophilus. Alright, so he was saying, Hey man, I enjoy your videos with Ableton. But for me, the most frustrating part is when I find a sample, how do you set up the tempo for those perfect slices or warping? What is your technique, your approach every time you use a sample, finding tempo and warping? All right, so let's go ahead and talk about that. And that really comes back down to sampling, almost like sampling techniques one. So basically, I just found a sample, um, and I'm going to show you what I would do with it in Ableton. So, first off, I got this sample off of this Marvin Gaye album right here. I want you. Hot album. If you listen to um, Little Brother at all, um, the Separate but, but Equal album, I think it's called. The first track on there is off of that album being sampled. So, basically just straight recorded this off of my Turntable over here. So basically, I put the needle down and I just recorded that part. I also came back through and recorded this part. Now, First thing you notice is when I recorded these samples, I got a little bit from before where I wanted to sample and a little bit after. That gives you more range to play with. If you cut the sample too short, it's going to be hard getting it in tempo. Because see, that's where it starts. All that beginning part I don't even want. So first we have to double click the track so we can see it down here. And basically before I even think about chopping up anything, first thing you always do, get the whole sample in tempo. Warp it first. That's what you always do. Don't try and cut it up anything first. Get the whole thing in tempo. Even the parts you don't want, get everything in tempo. So what I would come and do is just come down here and try and get this in tempo. And so, so this was one. Five. So this was five. That's basically how you go about warping. Listen to the track. Count out your measures. Do it every five measures. Now I can do this one too. I think this was one here. It wasn't. This is one. So 
So this was five. And see, the cool thing about doing it like this, I don't even need a metronome. All I got to do is count out to the music. Now, if you see there, that wasn't just a nine bar phrase, but if I wanted to, I could take that part out and use it for something. All right, so now I have my samples in tempo now, and I can do whatever I want to with them. At this part, I'll, I'll usually slow down my track to where I think I want the groove to be. And this is when I would begin chopping it. Now with chopping, sometimes I can do it real quick. Sometimes it takes some time because I like just mess with it for a while. It's almost like Play-Doh, you know, and you got to like roll it up a couple times and mash it and squash it and then after a while you might get something you like and that's that's kind of how I go about sampling when I go chopping sometimes I know what I want already other times I'll literally sit there and just what about this what about that let me just move this here what about what if I do this and next thing you know you get some stupid hot sample that you didn't even realize that you could make and when you go back and listen to it you're like how how did I even do that anymore? 